Hi everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is about why most people find it difficult to meditate. I think that the majority of us know that it's a good idea to have some kind of a practice to relax and reduce our stress, such as let's say Tai Chi or yoga, and obviously meditation is one of these practices. But uh, for most people, it is challenging to get into a meditative state. And why is that? I've been meditating for about 28 years, uh, daily, like twice a day. And uh, what I've noticed is that uh, when my meditation center bought the EG machine and we're able to look at people's brains, uh, most meditators have a beta brainwave dominance. And when a person has a beta brainwave dominance, it means that they have fast, incoherent brainwaves. And to get into a meditative state, the person has to slow down their brainwaves down to alpha or better yet theta to get into this relaxed state. And this is something that is rarely talked about. Uh, they say, oh, just meditate, whatever. But uh, the other aspect also is that the person has to have slow brainwaves. But also, people who are right brain dominant, also uh, it's easier for them to get into in, meditate. So in other words, uh, someone who naturally has alpha or theta brain dominance combined with being right brain dominant, they already are in a meditative state. So it's easy for them to get into a deeper state versus someone who has beta brainwave dominance and, all, and is a left brain dominant. So that's why I think that uh, we uh, don't give people the tools to uh, overcome this hump. Uh, what I've done is that uh, in the description of this video, I put an aura cleansing video, which is basically digital Reiki, if someone is uh, familiar with energy healing practices. And I recommend that people watch this video. It's about nine minutes. It's a silent video. You don't have to do anything. Just sit down and watch it and then try to meditate. And you'll see that it's easier because by slowing down the person's brain waves, it will naturally make them more uh, capable of uh, meditating without having to force it. So again, I think that is something that is rarely talked about uh, because not everyone is born with a brain that is very much wired for these practices. So the main issue has to do with a person's dominant brain is like we produce all the other you know type of brain waves like you know uh, alpha and theta but what is your dominant one and in summary if a person has a beta brain wave dominance and is left brain dominant it's hard for them to get into a meditative state and one of the best ways to actually accomplish that is some kind of a practice just like uh, the a video I'm going to put in the description that actually can slow down your brain and actually help you relax and be able to get into a meditative state faster. For people who are naturally right brain dominant and have an alpha or even theta brain dominant, they're already there. So it's, uh, you know, just like a fish to water and they have no issues, uh, you know, practicing meditation on a regular basis. So uh, I trust that this video was interesting, that you, you learned something. Uh, if so, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we will talk soon.